Welcome back everyone, Tonic here, and we are still playing Firewatch. Uh, in the last episode we found out that, supposedly, the uh, couple of teenage girls that we ran into previously may or may not have cut the phone utility cables that connect uh, the different outposts to each other, which would cause problems for myself as well as other people in the area. Let's see, now my job is to try and track these two down. So, let's see if we can't figure out which direction they might have gone. Hmm. I wanna go this way. I don't want to backtrack and see. Let's backtrack and see. Let's see if I can't figure out which direction they went. Oh, wait, there's a beer can. Alright, so. Where did I come from initially? I think it came from. So they came. I'm gonna go the direction of the beer cans. It seems like the prudent decision. Another beer can. Another one. Okay, yeah. Following the beer can seemed like a good idea. Hmm. It's a mystery. Blocked trail. I cannot clear that. That is thorny. Thorny as hell. Well, I doubt they went through that way. So... I guess I'll have to go this way. Man, this game is just pretty. Pretty. Uh, slide over there. Drop down. Can I get over there? Is the question. Yes, I can. That's uh, a backpack. Brian Goodwin. I'm going to report this. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Hmm. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. All right. Oh, camera. Oh, cool, I can take pictures. And I've got rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. Yeah. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Uh... He was a lookout? I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Hmm. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. <laughs> I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Sounds good. Okay, well, I need to be careful with the amount of pictures that I take. 
It's actually interesting. I'm curious to see what exactly that's going to entail. Like if I'm going to need to do anything or if it's just for fun. And we are empty. Fantastic. Alrighty. That was pointless. Find the teens. Supply drop. Hmm. Alright, let's continue back. Or maybe I'll go up this way. Something tells me they didn't go this way. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Okay. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Hmm. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> a tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Too bad. Man. Yeah, hopefully I won't break my back on this one. Hey! Oh look, another cache. Oh, another, uh... Rope drop. Let's go. Maybe this one will have, a uh, map information. Goody! All right. Open sesame. One, two, three, four. Map info. Okay. No. Oh. Another note. Guess who's coming out with Debbie, or going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit, heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went to check with the new guy at Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself... having himself in that hammock? Ooh. I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks... <laughs> deranged and perverted except for us of course we're the creme de la creme let's toast to Deb at the spot that's good to know is that a raptor claw uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box could be the same person who left that antler and maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece <laughs> who knows Right, let's see what the map brought me. Let's see. Trail down, trail down, cut wire. Hmm. Wonder where I'm gonna find those girls. Let's see. I like being by the lake. So I think I'll head towards the lake. Let's indicate north. So that would be southwest, so it would be this trail. All right, let's get going. Or there could be a fence there. Wonderful. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? 
Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Mm hmm. Huh. That's weird. That's not good. Uh, what are they keeping in? What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe <laughs> loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands even, full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh huh. <laughs> the New Zealand <laughs> government so is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Haha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high quality information. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. What about this burned area? From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Hmm. There's something. Something in the hey, woods. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Yeah. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Um. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. But you're here. Uh... She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack? Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, hey Flapjack. Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> the discourse between these two. Is there anything over here? Hmm. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> oh man. I really, really enjoy the writing in this. It's actually really good. And the acting's pretty good too. I am having fun with this game. I... However, I'm getting a little upset that I cannot find these girls anywhere, or at least any sort of like evidence of where they are. Well, they would not have gone anywhere close to this kind of trail. Is that something up there? No. Oh. All right. Get some. Put some hustle on it. What is this way? Nice landscapes. Mm. 
I'm assuming I'm gonna get something to be able to, be, be able to break down the trail. Hmm. We can go back towards the lake. Oh! I think so. That thin plume of smoke? Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Okay. Well, you think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? No, they don't. <sighs> Hmm. We're getting close. Uh, let's see. Another rope hook. Hmm. No. So, you know what? I'm just going to throw the rope on there. Because I have it. Where am I now? That's me. Campfire source. So I should go down then. I indicate north. Okay. So I will go down there then. Never mind. Hmm. <laughs> This Henry is a strapping fellow. Must what does admit. she have? Uh, She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Um, devastating. Devastating? Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. It's so yeah. sad. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Oh, man, the story. Poor Henry. Missing person flyer. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who mm. dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That's never good. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. <laughs> How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? No, I did not. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. 
can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? That's pretty cool. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Okie dokie. Oh man. This is just a pretty game. There's a waterfall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. Hmm. I'll keep looking around. Gotta be some. Aha! More beer cans. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. What's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? <laughs> I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Yep. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? <laughs> it's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. My sheets. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. Hmm. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. Yeah. You've got that sense. camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah. Good thinking. Uh, let's see. That sounds good. All right. Oh, clothes. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about you creeping on the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. you probably a mental fucking ex-murderer, so you're... And so you're going to jail. And are so going to jail. I hope it was worth it being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Yeah. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening 
to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No. Don't be ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I've known you, what, 24 hours? Maybe, maybe you're nuts. God, look, I just came out here to sit in a tower, all right? Not get into some mess with a bunch of co-eds. It's fine. They're, they're gone? Yeah, they're gone. But you should see this place. It's just, it's weird. It's weird stuff, stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it'd be nice. Day three, would you look at that. Hmm. Well then. Now that that mystery is solved. Although, it just asks more hey, Henry? questions. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> I'm going to say, uh, let's go Burt Reynolds. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Women say that we have a similar musk. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. <laughs> oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow, <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. That's and if mean. not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, yeah. Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Mm. Just one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Uh... A thick beard. Uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Hmm. You're what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. What's well, nice Your eyes. Tell me. Um. Steely. They're, uh, they're steely. Cold, hard stare. Mm, like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Pretty interesting. Okay, then. <laughs> well, like I was saying, now that we've gotten that mystery and another question to be answered out of the way and now that Delilah has uh, gotten her interpretation of what I may or may not look like I am going to call it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching don't forget you can always click in the corner up here for my last video or you can click in here for all the rest of my videos and we'll pick this up in the next one so until then see ya